Get it back out to Robbie Stark, who uh, swings it in. And then out the back door to uh, Leon Dawson, who brings it out now. Nathan Keatley just ahead of him, but he goes inside to Pete. Pete Davison. Lovely bit of skill to create the space. Oh, and that's a lovely little ball to find there. Ben Lewis on the run. Danny Allen to his feet. Oh. Oh, and that's the first goal of the afternoon for Joe McFadden. Where is he? Joe McFadden. Joe McFadden, where is he? Can't find him. And that's the first goal of the afternoon for Bridlington Town. Goal scorers, sponsored by Gordon Boys, Joe McFadden. And there we go, Joe McFadden. Um, lovely little finish there. That's the line. But Lionel was on top of it. Barton clearing the lines, but only two head. Davison in there to Joe McFadden doing a little jink, ran into trouble. Now the batting captain is bringing it out, but ooh, that's one of those 50 50 balls. Both Nathan Keatley who plays it quickly to Joe McFadden. Ooh, and that's a good save by Charles Dixon there in the batting goal to um, deny uh, McFadden his second goal of the game. I think he's been assured, which has been really nice. Ward B. Shows out wide. McFadden drives, drives forward. Lewis whips it in. Oh. Daniel just knocked, just got beat to it by the uh, batting defender. Oh, he's done well today. I tell you, he's done well today. It's definitely. Definitely a contender for Man of Match today if he Not carries on like this, Mr. Patrol. Um, oh, he's missed the header there, Danielle. Picks it up, drives, crosses it in. And that's a goal for Joe McFadden. And that's the second goal of the afternoon for Brilliant Town. Goal scorer sponsored by. Warren Spear, number 10, Joe McFadden! I've got his sponsor wrong, but I thought I'm waiting too long. And hopefully County will be doing all right today. Anyway, that's a good ball. Ooh, Fraser, you caught him there. And it's a penalty for Barton. And it was it. He caught him. He caught him. He caught him. He caught him. You can't argue with that one. Um, <sighs> Nathan Pete takes the ball off Hitch. And uh, Hitch has come out. I love it when keepers do it. He comes out, just stands in front of him, has a little look. Nathan, there, you're not touching the ball. And then, I don't know why, but um, Jack Bullis has gone in there as well, just to have a little chat with him. All, all mind games, all the mind games. And then here we go, here we go. Nathan Pete against Hitch. Will Hitch pull off the save or will Nathan Pete nail it? Nathan Pete has nailed it. Runs and gets the ball. And that's a goal for Barton Town. Goal scorer, number four from the party spot, Nathan Pete. Great to see. Anyway, corner comes in. Yeah, Oh, and that bounces off that crossbar from Pete Davison there. But Bridtown keep the ball alive. Oh, and then the batter. Pete Davison, I tell you what, a beautiful strike that was, but rattled off the crossbar. I hope that'll go through to Hitch. It does. Yeah, lovely, lovely by air. Today's captain, Pete Davison. Barton, I tell you, momentum. You can feel the wind is in their sails as he cuts inside. Oh, Nathan Pete was going for it. But I tell you something, it's coming up, coming out here. Ooh, what a beautiful shot from Joshua Lacey there. Barton got the connection, got the clean hit. And we're just looking across now what we've got coming off. No. And Pete Davison just clears his lines there. Come on, into it. As Barton come again. 
Like I said, I think Batten have been quite impressive in this second half. They haven't given in, they haven't rolled over. And that's a good ball in. Oh, I tell you something, we don't have goal line technology at Queensgate, but that must have been close. That must have been close. To the full time whistle, I'm looking at the ref. Batten go long. Papro gets there first. And that's full time down here at Queensgate from this afternoon's game. Final score was Bruton Town 2, Barton Town 1. And we wish Barton, their fans, committee members and players all a safe journey back home. Thank you for coming, everyone.